Morning guys, it's Monday. Welcome to my new vlog series. So I've got my jacket. I'm gonna start turning on some trucks. It is 629. As I was opening the gate, Justin just showed up. 6.30, that's early. Um, I kind of, I like that people come early like that, but I don't like when they beat me. I don't know why. I have this thing where if my guys get here before me, I don't know, I feel like I'm slacking. I gotta be the first one here. Although I got some guys who are who always try to be the first one here, but I always beat them. So basically, all these trucks fit into this small. Uh, let's see if I can turn this around. All these trucks fit into this small side, which is about half acre. I have to move a lot of trucks around in order to make it all functional so that when people start arriving and parking in the employee parking lot and coming over here, everything's ready for them to leave. So this truck is parked where we dump our debris. So I need to move this out of the way. And once we do that, then this truck can actually move out. It's kind of like a, a weird puzzle that we have to do every day. So that's what I have to do now. Man, some of those trucks stink inside, dude. One of the things I hate more than anything is to get a text in the morning. I'll be in at 9.30 if that's okay. Um, why not give me a heads up the night before? Why, why do people feel like they can come in two hours late in the morning? You know, you know, go ahead, be late, but tell me, give me some heads up. Telling me in the morning while I'm starting your truck is not the time you're supposed to be telling somebody you're gonna be late. And actually, it's the guy using the ramp rack, not, not these other trucks. So, so the thing is, that person, he's basically the newest uh, addition, so we don't really have a full route for him, so it's not the end of the world. But that's why these guys have a full route, because they don't call off. In fact, here's one now. What's up? What's up? <laughs> so my first Mo guy's here, and I just told him that I gave him four more houses. Um, he's done the first time Mo's on them anyway, so it's not like I'm catching him off guard or anything. Uh, they were on another Mo guy, but he's a lot closer. And so I just asked him if he thinks he's okay doing the extra four. And maybe we'll have him on every Monday. And he's like, yeah, no problem. So now that I moved the dump trailer, here's where the debris is. This is left over from Friday, probably Saturday. No, no, Friday. Um, so there's still a truck that went out on Saturday. They didn't unload. It's a garden crew, so there's probably branches and stuff like that. And we dump it in here. I also dump my sprinkler, sprinkler uh, used parts in there. So, so right now it is 6:40. Got our first guy leaving. Let me open up the sprinkler warehouse. All right, see ya, thanks. So this is a little project I've been working on, getting the sprinkler 
warehouse in order. So I've got little labels on everything. Uh, the prices are not right. Basically, I had to I had to print out those labels just to get them all in order. I've got a box inside of a box, so that I've got another compartment over here. So these, this, the front are all three quarter inch. Behind it are going to be one inch, and then behind that, I've I've ordered some more of these little tiny boxes, and those are going to be for the half inch couplers. So. I'll have all the couplers on this row all the way. I've already got the three quarter inch in order and I've got a lot of the drip system in order here. And uh, action pieces on this side, valves, uh, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress, but it's coming along. It's something that I'm doing a little bit every day now the funny part is um i hired well i didn't hire anybody i i've had guys in the winter that were supposed to do this last winter and the winter before so for two years we've been trying to get this organized and finally i'm like you know what i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna freaking do it <laughs> and as i started doing it i realized nobody would have done this because it had to be my idea you know, because in order to get this warehouse stocked up, we basically have to buy everything at the sprinkler store. And I don't see anybody doing that besides me. Like as far as my workers go, I don't see, you know, Justin last winter going, all right, all right, sprinkler supply company, I'm going to get this warehouse in order and I'm going to buy everything. I don't see him doing that. It had to, that had to come from me or else it would never get done. So when I finally said, all right, I'm gonna organize this, as I started going, I realized in order to have this warehouse as organized as possible, we need to have a space for everything, right? Even if we don't have it, like the sprinkler store doesn't have this part. This is part 414101. But we still need to have space for it so that we have room for everything. You know what I mean? So. So anyway, that's where we're at. I'm buying, I basically bought all the three quarter inch couplers. I still need to buy the full inch and the three quarter inch, sorry, half inch. And then, you know what I mean? I just gotta buy everything and it's all gonna fit, I think, cause as we're organizing, we're making more space. So this is coming along. As I move this truck here, there's so little bit of gas in that truck gauge. I can't believe that it was on. It is, the, the gauge for gas is all the way like past the E. So this guy needs to take it to the gas station, mucho pronto. Um, in fact, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea if I did it, but I'm really close. There's, we have a gas station really close and he needs to go there first thing. Here is my, what I call real office, right here. So I'm not inside the office where nobody can find me. What's up, man? Justin crawled out of his truck, ready to work. Schedule done. Okay, so now I have to turn off all the trucks. And while I do that, I check for check engine lights. That's mainly the reason why I check. Now it's 7.08. I typically like to have them on for like 10 minutes. Not necessarily, um, you know, for 30 minutes like they were today. So I've started doing something new, uh, test. So I'm putting the spring directly on the cage now. Uh, this is a, one of those springs from Ballard. 
Um, this is what it used to be. The problem is with these, they have so many different moving parts, um, including these rollers that have been knocked out. The spring is really thin. Um, so it's broken so many times that we're now putting this straight one on like that. And it's, it works really good. It's actually cheaper to just buy the spring. So that spring was 60 bucks. This, it comes in sets of two, 200 bucks or 180, something like that. So we're gonna try doing these from now on. Justin, I wanna start doing something. I think you're going to like too. I want to start having activities with people. Like, you know, Mondays, Tuesdays. Go, go bowling or something like that with some of the guys. I don't like that. Bonding stuff what do you think so what I, but I think there needs to be like events where it's optional to come and everybody's going like that doesn't put any pressure on anybody they can leave when they want they, you know they don't have to go uh, if they do go they can form some friendships also it's for kind of like a recruiting thing you know it's like hey bring your friends and they bring their friends, and you know what? This is, this is work, buddy. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I feel like that's a part of it, too. No, now you are. Now I'm recording. Now go. You want me to record when I'm asking for sure if I can get uh, Monday off? <laughs> <laughs> well, Monday, Labor Mon Day. Monday's Labor Day, so I think we're all, I moved that You know what's funny way. is I thought today was Labor Day, and I didn't say shit, because I didn't know, nobody told me they weren't coming in. So oh, is that why no one's here? No. So I I moved that job because yeah yeah it's Labor Day. We're gonna do a AG one commercial. What is that? Uh, it's like greens. Yeah, talk about it, dude. Yeah, man. Joe Rogan told me to get the <laughs> AG one. I don't know. There, we're sponsored by AG one. No uh, you can send your your payment to my email. To me. <laughs> yeah, send it to Aaron. Yeah. Help the guy out. So one thing I wanted to point out here was got a new grandstand over the weekend. Actually, it was last week. No, it was it was, it was Friday. Check this out. Let me let me bring it down. Um, brand new, zero hours, zero 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 point zero hours. Uh, this truck had an old mower. And I was trying to sell it. I don't know if you guys saw that post where I was trying to sell it or trade it. The dealership told me that they'd be willing to trade it in, uh, you know, for part credit on a new one. And it was an offer I couldn't refuse. So I did that. So I still have one backup mower that's waiting on parts right now, but brand new 36 inch mower. So the thing is this guy had a 40 inch mower and there was two gates that he couldn't get into, two or three. And now he can get into all of them because when he uses another 36 inch, when his is down, he's always really happy. So that's why I had to give it to him. So when are you going to start that activity thing? As soon, like maybe this week. So. Thinking, you know, how we do a year in the car, end of the year activity. Uh huh. Maybe we should do it at Top Golf. He doesn't need to say long thumbs. We'll use it. Right. If it says Cave Rain and Sprinkle World, we'll still use it as long as it's royal blue and it's not like super bright, like 
Like the one Sprinkler World shirt. You mean like the one that we had the other, or the one yeah. that they gave out? You know, if it's a royal blue shirt with black lettering, dude, we can use those. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll let him know, um, because he because he was because they're talking about doing getting with like you and like the top five contractors, and um, he wants to have specialized uh, hats. For, nice. for each one, so each one's gonna have a your logo and Sprinkle World logo on it. Yeah. I mean, as long as it's royal blue, I don't really care. You know? Right? Hats, I never really care because people but, teach his own. They want a full sombrero or a trucker hat or whatever. Right. I don't really care. But shirts, I do care about. The way I do things is I don't have, you know, like a specific time where people need to be here. Uh, I like to recommend you get here around 7, 7.30. And right now it's 7.30. Still nobody's here. I'm totally fine with it because these guys, all my employees here are pretty much career workers. Like this is their job this is their job this is their livelihood they get paid really well they get their big list done every day they work until you know the sun goes down so i don't worry about them uh these mo guys you know they do come in at different times this guy's usually here pretty early he's never the first to leave but he's usually like the second or third same with this guy he's this guy you you never know he may come in, you know, seven, and the next day he may come in at 10. I don't care, as long as they get their jobs done. Um, and then and then, that truck over there, he's usually here, uh, I wanna say 9.30 every day. So I don't really care. Um, garden guys, eight o'clock. This guy is the one that, called, that said he's gonna be late today. At least he, he let me know. And you know what? I was so busy moving things around, I forgot to answer him. But it's obviously going to be okay. There's my sprinkler manager's truck. That's kind of a backup truck. This is another backup truck. And this is the other garden crew that comes in at 8. So, and in fact, their truck, I usually park it in the debris lo loading area. Because they usually have stuff back there that need to be cleaned out and they're usually the, the thing is there are times they get here so late that you know that truck that was here this morning parked there they can't unload because that truck is here first usually every night and these garden guys the garden maintenance guys are usually later so they park it like normal in the morning they unload same with this guy Um, and it's hit or miss who's first. So some, that's why sometimes I let them put their own truck in the debris loading area because I don't know who gets here first. So I'm not a stickler about what time people get here. I think that's kind of another perk for working here. It's like, hey, look, as long as you know that you have your list and you're going to get it done, I'm cool with that. Now, obviously, I wouldn't let a new person, you know, um, if you're new, you are gonna be here on time when I tell you what time you're supposed to be here. And you'll do that every day until you kind of prove yourself. Then there's some flexibility there. Uh, but once you've been here a year, two years, and you're solid and, and you're, you're good to go on your own, I don't really care because it's your money. Um, if these guys were really bad, there would be another guy to take their route in their houses. And none of them want to lose their houses. so. I'm okay with them showing up at different times. Justin, what do you think? Do you like your sprinkler guys to be here on time or do you like them coming in early or late or what? Um, Over. Thomas just texted and said he's going straight to the job. Right. So I like that too. Yeah, so it's 7.30. He's, but he took the truck home because his is not working good. Right. But eventually when they have their own trucks. They're all gonna take them home anyway. 
they could just go straight to the jobs. They go straight to the jobs. But job. they need to let us know because otherwise we're just kind of figuring, hey, are they, where the hell are they? But if, if they go, if they have their own, if they have their truck, they can go straight to the job and then there's no lost time. Yeah. They're not clocking in until they step foot on the property. Right. Well, so, when they dispatch the job. Well, right. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like totally. There, there's no, there's, there's not drive time from here to Provo. Right. So it's less cost than gas. So they just need to figure out a good time to stock their truck every day yeah. or, or every, every other day. day. Yeah. Almost everybody's gone. There's still two Mo guys there and one over there. So there's still three Mo guys that still need to get out of here. Um, the garden guys, the last of the garden crews right there. So once they leave and those three trucks leave, those two and that one leave, all that will be left is that dump trailer truck. It's the F-250 over there. And these two which are pretty much my backup trucks. So this one is a backup truck that we haven't had to use all year. And that two door is actually the estimator who's not coming in today. She requested off. And I told her as long as the jobs are on the list, the guys know what they're supposed to do. She does the garden scheduling and all that. It's like, as long as they're, they're full, their schedules for the day is full, they know what they're doing. I don't care if you take the day off. I honestly don't care. If if the guys were were busy every day and know what they're supposed to do, I could care less how many hours she works, to be honest with you. Um, yes, it's nice to have her around so we could bounce ideas off of, but you know, that's that's part of my perks that I like doing for people here. When as long as I know the jobs are getting done, I don't really care when you work. Uh, it's something that I'm I, I'm okay with. I know there's probably a lot of people out there, a lot of a lot of guys that are like, I couldn't do that with my business. I need to know what's going on with everybody. I was like that too. Um, but but when you have such a strong team that they just, you know they need the money, you know they want to get paid, that kind of stuff. You know they're going to be responsible and professional enough to get their checks every week, full checks, and make sure everything's done. I'm okay with, with them showing up, you know, different times. Now, now a lot of these guys do, are respectful of others. So like the Mo guys, they're not waiting on anybody. They're one man crews, they go out whenever they get here, that's fine. But the garden crews like Fernando, he knows that everybody's waiting on him. So he'll get here on time. Um, same with like this other garden guy. So here's a new one, Jose Luis, <laughs> what's up? It's his first day. He'll be working with Ezekiel doing garden maintenance. So actually he's somebody that was so, but, you know, when he when he got hired um, last week, today's the first day, he, he came in for an interview last week and we met twice. I told him he was going to be working basically all the hours he could handle. But guess what? He called off on his first day. So once he did that, I got with Fernando and I said, look, this is a guy I thought he wanted a lot of hours, but he's already calling off on his first day. He was supposed to start Thursday um, and today's Monday. So I said, you know, I, I'm just not feeling comfortable right now. And I told him, I basically told him that he can work all the hours he wanted. And Fernando was like, man, if he called off on his first day, then he needs to go with this other crew who leaves early every day. Um, so we're, so I, had, I had a conversation with him and I told him, hey, man, you know, you're going to be going with this crew. It's a good crew. Uh, but because you called off on your first day, I can't count on you having all these hours. So you're gonna go with this crew that has, you know, they, you still may get 40, but it could be as low as 30. Um, and he's like, I understand. So I told him, show me that you can work 
and not call off and do a good job and then you'll get back up you'll get your hours back up so so that's what that's where we're at so i'm not like a total pushover okay i do have my little boundaries out of the blue i have a mo guy telling me what a piece of crap mower he has you know and uh he, you know, is he right? I don't know. I, I don't think so. I mean, yeah. D d is it having problems? Probably, but is it a piece of crap? Probably not. Um, do I want to get him a new one? Yes, but you know, got to do things a um, little bit at a time. Um, I actually, since I've got one that I traded one in. Um, the guy that said that he would possibly consider trading my other mowers the same, you know, you know, trading them in for some credit. Um, he's, he's really sick. So he hasn't been going to work for like two weeks. So, you know, it's like, I'm going, I'm doing the best I can, but I also have to let the world do their part too and and i can't I, there's things i don't have control over so that's kind of where we're at with that so we just got an email there's it's 8 30 nobody's at the office yet uh because they don't get here till nine that's when we officially open that's when google says we're open um we got an email customer pretty upset so i've got to put that on the schedule for the sprinkler manager to go check out um, hopefully it's an easy fix. We also just got an email of a customer that's canceling their mowing. She claims that, you know, we've hit our shed a few times and even though she's tried calling about, you know, letting us know that that shed has been scraped repeatedly, we still keep doing it. Um, and also sprinklers have been broken from the sprinkler guys. And even though we send somebody out to fix it, she says that the, the replacement sprinklers aren't as high quality as the ones that were broken. I don't know if I believe that because all we do is have quality sprinklers so much so that we have our names on it, you know? Um, so I, I'm just kind of confused by that. Um, it's possible that um, the sprinklers are different and because they're not what she's used to or they may look cheaper um, That maybe that's why um, So I'm going here pausing services right now Yeah, the phone is ringing and nobody's here to answer um, I actually because of service Titan we can actually see who's calling on the app, which is kind of cool. Um, so I'm still. Now, when people call and cancel or email if, if it's an email, I typically pause the service. I don't actually cancel them and close their account. I just pause it because there's a good chance they're going to call us back, you know, if they can't find anybody else or if for whatever reason, you know, um, again, all I do at this point is I read the email and I do the action. I don't actually follow up with the customer. The office does that when they get in. They'll call, they'll read that email, they'll check, they'll see that I paused it and then they're gonna call the customer they or, or reply. Because I didn't reply back to the customer, the office will see that and they'll reply and they'll say something like, I'm so sorry, is there any way that we can win back your business? You know, that kind of stuff. Um, at that point, it's better if it comes from them than me because I'm just like, I just got everybody out of here. Um, I'm catching up on emails. Probably, I'm probably not the best person to to respond to that email right now. Um, you know, I'm not in that mode right here, right now. I'm in the mode of getting everybody out. People are, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a technician who's upset at me because he, 
he doesn't think he has a good mower like everybody else. So, you know, in fact, I'm going to call him because I don't want him being all mad at me. see how this goes hey dog <laughs> okay well just know I'm trying I'm trying to get you a mower uh, the last new mower I just got it was because the guy couldn't fit in a lot of gates you know what I mean and it, his mower well you got a 36 inch don't you yeah i mean it can't get any smaller than that unless you go push mowers but um so i had to get him a mower because he's been you know i can't have a you know what i mean you know and and his his 40 inch was older than yours that you know and on all these mowers that are in the tent that are backup basically everybody's mower is a backup you know what i mean even even the new one last week, I had to change one of the, I don't even know what the, the uh, what's that called? It was a big $300 fix, and it was a brand new mower. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I know, isn't it, isn't it M, M3, yeah, so, Yours is in the tent waiting for a $400 part, which may be there soon. Like it could be any day now, you know? And and I wanted to trade, so I'm gonna try upgrading yours and Juner's, okay? And, but but the guy who, the owner of the, of the place, he's got some kind of big sickness that he's out. He's, you know, he's in, He's in the hospital basically and he's the only one that could give me the credit for the new mower so i'm waiting on him too you know what i mean because that was supposed to be done last week depending uh, he's supposed to tell me how much credit he would give me for your mower and juniors but he hasn't been able to so i'm kind of waiting on other people too you know what i mean so yeah well i yeah well i just want you to know i'm trying really hard so like Trust me, I want you to have a good mower. All right, man. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. I know. I wish I went to change the blade and the the um, the screws inside or the threads were stripped. It's possible from changing the mount so often. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I could think of. I mean, or me, you know? But I try to be really careful. So, all right, cool. Yeah, thanks. Bye. You know, it's good to communicate with people, even if they're not, if it's not exactly what they want to hear. Uh, that's the thing. That's my managing style is I like handling shit right away. You know, so if, if somebody's got an issue, I like to figure out what's going on, handle it. I don't like it festering, lingering in somebody's mind for days and days, not knowing if I even cared to listen to them. So I try to, I try to handle as many problems as soon as possible. And that goes for the employees too, uh, customers, um, except with the customers, I like to be in a, a different mindset when I'm dealing with them, like from a, from a complaining issue. I like to do research. I like to figure out who mowed their lawn first, how many times that issue happened. Uh, were there any emails sent from us to them, letting them know there was a problem? So we like to do all of that and then we call them. So I'm not in the direct mindset to do that right now. Somebody just asked me on Facebook, will I be going to Brian's lawn maintenance conference this year? And I said, I don't think so, but what's, when is it and what state is it in? So I'd be curious on that. All right, so now everybody's gone. I got a few minutes. I'm gonna start doing profit first and start transferring money from the deposits last night.